Hi everyone, it's me Teacher Jay and welcome to our channel. So for today, magsasagot po tayo ng problems na ni-request po ng isa sa mga subscribers natin guys. Shout out sa'yo dun sa nag-request po ng problem from Cagayan Valley. Okay, sana may matutunan ka dito sa discussion ko. So, ang topic na ito is all about solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Actually, may na-i-upload na po ang video lesson nito sa aking YouTube channel. Uh, you can visit my YouTube channel po para ma makita nyo po or ma-view nyo po yung mga video lessons na naka-upload po doon. So, let's do this topic, guys. So, given the following congruent triangles, we are going to solve for their corresponding parts. Given triangle JOY is congruent to triangle FUN. And then, given the measurements po, and then we need to find this one from numbers 1 to 10. Okay? Before that, identify muna natin yung mga corresponding sides and corresponding angles based from the two triangles. So, first one is yung corresponding sides. Segment JO corresponds to segment FU and they are congruent. Sabihin, they are equal. Right? And then, segment OY is uh, corresponds to segment OL, a uh, UL, and that is, and they are congruent. Segment JY corresponds to segment FL, and they are congruent. Okay? How about the corresponding angles? Angle J corresponds to angle F, and they are congruent. Okay? So, Alam dapat po natin yung mga corresponding sides sa corresponding angles. Next, angle O corresponds to angle U and they are congruent. And then angle Y corresponds to angle L and they are congruent. So, tandaan po natin ito. Ano po? Kasi uh, magagamit po natin ito sa pagsasolve ng problems. So, let's do this one, yung number one po. We need to find the value of X. So, since... JO is, or segment JO is congruent to segment FU. And then, by substitution, <clears throat> X plus 10 is equal to 2X plus 5. Okay? Yung JO natin, that is X plus 5, is equal to FU, that is 2X plus 5. And then, by using uh, subtraction property of equality, we have now X minus 2X is equal to 5 minus 10. Then simplify natin yan, x minus 2x that is negative x is equal to 5 minus 10 that is negative 5. And then uh, divide both sides of the equation by negative 1 or simply use MPE, multiplication property of equality, x now is equal to 5. So the value of x is equal to 5. Let's have number 2. We need to find the value of y. So, angle O and angle U are congruent. Kasi hanapin natin yung value ng y. So, by substitution, angle O is y plus 10 is equal to angle U that is 2y minus 40. Then, by using uh, subtraction property of equality, we have y minus 2y is equal to negative 40 minus 10. Okay? So, parang tinanspose ko lang po yung 2y dito dun sa left side. Okay? And then, yung positive 10 naman, tinanspose ko dun sa right side, kaya naging negative 10. And then, simplify natin ito. y minus 2y, that is negative y, is equal to negative 40 minus 10, that is negative 50. And then we uh, use MPE, or simply divide both sides of the equation by negative 1. Okay, so this is y is equal to 50. Negative 50 divided by negative 1, that is positive 50. So the value of y is 50. Okay, next, number 3, find the measurement of angle O. So ito po yung hahanapin natin. Okay, so yung angle O natin is equal to y plus 10. Di ba ang value ng y natin kanina is 50? So by substitution, 
angle O is equal to 50 plus 10. And then angle O, now our measurement of angle O is 60 or that is 60 degrees. Okay? So 60 degrees po yung ating angle O. Next po, number 4, find the measurement of angle U. Since yung angle U natin is 2Y minus 40, okay, by substitution, okay, substitute po natin yung value ng Y kanina na 50, so we have 2 times 50 minus 40. Simplify natin ito. 2 times 50, that is 100, minus 40, that is 60. So the measurement of angle U, sorry, this is angle U, angle U is 60 degrees or 60. Okay? Next, number, number five, five, find the measurement of angle Y. So, yung angle Y po yung hahanapin natin. So, tingnan nyo po yung angle J and angle O. The sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay? Kung 60 yan, yung angle J, 60 yung angle O, Ano na lang kulang para maging 180 at yun yung measurement ng angle Y. So we have this one, angle J plus angle O plus angle Y is equal to 180 degrees. Since meron na tayong angle J and angle O, pwede yung substitute nyo yun. And then plus the measurement of angle Y is equal to 180. Tapos i-add mo ito, 60 plus 60 that is 120 plus the measurement of angle Y that is equal to 180. And then, using subtraction property of equality, or simply transpose positive 122 right side, transpose mo lang. Kaya magiging the measurement of angle Y is equal to 180 minus 120. So, ang measurement ng angle Y is 60. So, 60 degrees po. Okay? Ayan. Next po, find the measurement of angle L. Diba, ang angle L ay congruent sa angle Y? Tama ba? So, angle L congruent to angle Y. Ibig sabihin, kung 60 degrees sa angle Y, si angle L natin ay 60 degrees din. Okay? Ayan. Next. Ito naman, since kinuha na natin yung angle F, diba, uh, the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So, 60 plus 60, ang kulang na lang is 60 degrees para maging 180. So, kinuha ko lang yung angle F. Next po, number 7, segment JO. Okay? So, hanapin natin si segment JO. Since ang value ng X po natin kanina ay nakuha po natin, tama? So, segment JO is equal to X plus 10. Ang value ng X po natin kanina ay 5. So, sinubstitute ko lang. So, 5 plus 10 that is equal to 15. So, ang segment JO natin is 15. Okay? Next. Hanapin naman natin si segment FU. Okay? So, segment FU is congruent to segment JO. Tama? Or JO is congruent to FU. So, dapat 15 din po yun. Or segment FU is 15. Okay? Ayan. So, nakuha na po natin si FU. Next, number number 9. Okay? Ayan po. So, look at the measurements of these two triangles. Equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides and angles are congruent. Okay? So, kapag, um, sa yung, kapag yung triangle na yan ay congruent, yung sides, congruent yung angles, yun po, equilateral triangle po yan. Okay? Ayan. So, hanapin natin sa segment OY. OY is, first, o, ang OY natin, ito pong segment na yan, kung 15 ito, 15 yan, okay? Siyempre, 15 din po yung ating OY. Okay? Same with UL. Okay? 15 din po yan. So, ayan po yung mga uh, solutions dun sa problems na ito. Sana may natutunan ka doon sa nag-shoutout po, ah, doon sa nag-request po ng problem. Kung may tanong po kayo, you can type your questions po sa ating comment section. And then, keep safe and God bless.